Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in this video, I'm going to be unboxing my April Owl Crate box. So I'm very excited. Um, yeah, it came pretty early this time. So very excited to see what is inside this box. So this month's theme was Relics and Ruin. Um, so yeah, this the spoiler card. So let's see what we have inside here now. So the first thing is this little pouch here that says winter um is coming so i have no idea what this is um okay i have no idea there's three little blocks which are magnetic i think no, no. um i have no idea what these are so um, I'm gonna look at this border card in a minute, but they have these three little designs on them. Um, I have no idea um, what that is. Okay, so these are goblet stones, which are inspired from the Game of Thrones. Um, these are to be apparently to cool your drinks and stuff. Simply chill them in the freezer prior to adding them to a cold drink. Uh, make sure to hand wash your first, first use as well in between uses. Not dishwasher safe. Um, so there's that. Um, these stones are made of safe, food safe soap stones and can be used over and over again. Um, if I'm being honest, um, I won't be using these. I, I don't, yeah. That is kind of weird. Um, I won't be using these. I don't think at least. Um, it's an interesting item, but yeah, there's that. Uh, yeah, <laughs> let's just move on to the next thing. So the next thing we have is this little thing right here. Um, it has a nice silver foiling on them, which says scars are not shameful, not unless you let them be. If you do not wear them, they will wear you by V. Schwab. Um, so yeah, I think it opens up. And there's a little thing inside. So this is a white London hand travel pocket inspired by a darker shade of magic. Um, coins, cables, dice, and more. This patch will help you keep your entries, tokens handy for your travel between the worlds. Um, so how to you place your thumb and middle finger at either end of the top opening, push them together and hold tension to keep pouch open. Okay, so there's that. I'm not really sure how to keep it open to be honest. Um, but there's that. I also won't be getting any use out of this. Um, it's whatever item. So, so far I'm not really liking this box, but we'll see. Um, the next thing we have are story doorways, which are going to be a new collectible from Alcrate. Um, so this is um, traveling Lord, Lord, of the, uh, Lord of the Rings inspired doorway designed by Ithra. So I'm pretty sure this is just a decor piece Well, any actual use, I think. Okay, so here it is. It's this little design and then it has this black metal thing that you insert into it um, and it says home is behind the world ahead and there are many paths to read so I'm going to dread yeah anyways um, so this is basically just like a bookend um, that's how they're marketing it as um, it's like yeah it's basically just a bookend so I mean I guess that's pretty cool it's a nice item um, and these are going to be part of the collectibles for this year so i don't like lord of the rings don't care for it but yeah it's an okay um okay so the next item is inside this box right here which is a embroidery bookmark kit um so i yeah this is actually pretty cool don't know if i'm gonna be able to make it so i don't know if i can but i will try to make this so you have it comes with the embroidery hoop the yarn that you're going to use and the i'm assuming for the bookmark metal piece and then here is the design 
of the bookmark, which I really like. I like the design of it. Um, hopefully, I'll be able to make it because it looks pretty cool, and I like the I like these colors quite a bit. These are very nice colors. Um, so hopefully, I'll be able to make that. And then um, there's a QR code right there for a video tutorial, which is going to be very, very helpful. Um, and then the artwork was created by Four Seasons Fox. So yeah, that one is actually a pretty cool item. Hopefully I'm able to make that because it looks cool. And then I think the last item we have is our treasury, treasure toned uh, enamel pens, which is the another collectible for this year, enamel pens. And then this is inspired by Sorcery of Thorns, which I do want to get around to reading. This is very, very pretty. It's black this month. Um, yeah, it looks pretty cool. And then we have, of course, these open up um, and they look really, really good. Yeah, I like it. It's really, really cool. Um, I love these animal collections they're doing this year. Um, they're very nice. Okay, and then we have the bug for this month. So before we get to the book, we have this month's booklet here, which basically just has an interview with the author, the original cover right here, and then what they design, um, news from their little app they have, and then interview with the vendor that they chose for this month. And then we also have the photo challenge that they do every single month, and then a Spotify playlist and other book releases that they're excited for. So there's that, and then we have uh, Maze theme, which is against all the odds here. And they have a sneak peek on the back, which is a ceramic bowl that's going to be in it, which I'm assuming is going to be, yeah, it is Lord of the Rings ceramic bowls. I'm not a fan of this collectible item. Um, I hate Lord of the Rings. Oh. I don't have no interest in Lord of the Rings, so I just hate it. <laughs> um, plus, these bowls are pretty ugly. All of the Lord of the Rings ser uh, ser bowl that they've been doing, I think it's pretty hideous. Um, so, yeah. Um, but here's the book, which is Silver um, in the Bone by X Alexander Backen. So let me go ahead and open this real quick so I can show you guys this book and then these have silver for me on the edges which is so nice okay so i like the i like what they did with the cover um i really like it i think it's very nice and then we have the spine there and then we have the back cover and it says stories are always more beautiful than the truth and then we have the silver gilded edges which are very, very nice. I like that. Uh, I'm very glad our crates are doing uh, stuff to their edges now. Last month, there were gold edges. Now we have the silver edges. And then next month, we actually have stencil edges. So I'm very excited for that. Ooh, okay. So let's go ahead and take off the dust jacket. We do have beautiful um, artwork on the reversible side of this dust jacket. Um, I actually like this artwork quite a bit very very nice um i just i wish they would have put the title of here in on the spine and i probably would have used this to be honest because i really like it but yeah and then we have oh this is gorgeous we have a really really nicely done naked um hardback with artwork on it printed onto it which is so beautiful in my opinion i love this a lot this is so nice um, and then we have foil and pages here, which are also really nicely done. Um, these are really nice. And then they're the same on the back here. But I think Alfred did such a great job with this book. Yeah, um, I really love everything. And then we, of course we have the author's letter down into the book now, which I love that I will create started doing that. And then we have the author's signature page on there as well in gold, which is beautiful. Um, and that's basically it for this one's box. Um, they did a great job with the book. I think the book is absolutely well done. And yeah, 
items wise, um, I'm not the biggest fan of this one's box with the items. Um, I think a lot of people would enjoy these items, uh, but for me, I'm, I'm a hater, so. <laughs> I really love the embroidery kit bookmark. I think that's really nice. Um, actually, these little doorway collections that they're gonna be doing, um, these are actually pretty cool. Um, I just don't like Lord of the Rings, but um, I do think these are actually pretty cool. Um, and of course, I always love the animal pens and then those little stones things. I don't like it. Um, and I also don't like this little bag. Um, so, yeah. But, I think they did such a good job with the book here, so I really like what they did with this. Um, so yeah, let me know your thoughts on the items and on the book. Make sure to like, comment below, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!